Hello, I'm John Otway, and this is Half a Minute. Now, if you watched four hours of television, it's quite likely that half an hour of that might be adverts. However, if your four hours viewing includes this particular programme, you might end up watching three quarters of an hour of adverts. That's because this is a commercials chart show, where adverts we enjoy watching or we like soar into our chart and become huge, huge hits. And adverts we don't enjoy watching quite so much are flops. I don't get into our charts, and we don't show it. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. And in conclusion, Jim, Bill, Bob, Crawford, Low, Dork, Eight of and Ten. Business is business, and as we all know, in order to get something done, you've got to do something. In order to do something, we've got to get to work, so let's get to work. Thank you for taking me. <laughs> now, these rules apply to broadcasting generally, but for this program, the rules on advertising are a lot more simple and much easier to understand. If we like an advert, then it's on. If we don't, then it's not on, and the advertiser has to spend a lot of money to show the advert after the program is finished. <laughs> Hey loss, no problem with Slaphead. Slaphead's new formulation... Each day you invite the most powerful salesman in the world into your living room. This is me before Hunkomatic. <laughs> and this is me two weeks later. How do you know whether they're real or bogus? Well, they have to stick to our rules if they want to advertise on television. We're here to ITC, you aren't misled. There's a lot I would like to do in these programs. As you know, a lot of these adverts are from very exotic locations and I'd like to go there too. I'd like to find out for myself just how difficult and time consuming it is filming a 30 second commercial in somewhere like a beautiful sandy beach in Bermuda. I'd also like to go to an animation house and see how the special effects are done. Not as much as I'd like to go to the exotic location. I'd also like to talk to a few commercials directors. So I started this trend off by talking to John Dominic, a commercials director from Chip Storms. The script or the idea is king, and I think however much money you throw at an idea, it's got to be a good idea if it's really going to stick. And I think in many ways the simplest of commercials have been the best ones, and a commercial for that's tape. The idea basically was uh, um, a, a young black kid sitting on some steps, like it looks like not quite a tenement street, but we shot it in Kentish Town. I mean, it's not quite New York, but it has the same sort of feel. <laughs> um, and uh, he, he had some sort of reggae music on a bit loud, and this bit of a slob of a, of a road uh, digger uh, in a pneumatic drill decided that he was going to outgun him, so got the old drill going. Um, and it's just a nice little sequence of events between them, really, and eventually the kid wins because uh, he puts in a that's tape and blasts the other guy off the face of the air. You know, one of the most exciting times of my career was um, when we, we actually had the contract, we called it the contract, for doing Daily Mail commercials. And over a five-year period, um, this company did 85 commercials. Commercial break. Look at that, folks. That's just a Harry Seeker. That's circumference. Well, you won't see so much of him in the future. Six months ago in Australia, they told me I had to lose weight. So Vana, my lady wife, put me on a diet. Imagine, me on a diet. <laughs> I know you're in there, Milligan. But look at me now. Lost four stone without skipping meals. I'm nearly back to my fighting weight. I can even sing better, folks. Tyler! <clears throat> How does he do it? Me and the missus will tell you the real story of how to slim the sequel starting tomorrow. Only the Daily Mail, folks. It's such a shame that this program hasn't been running for 40 years. If it had have been, you know, we could have had this as a golden oldie. It's Roy Rogers. Now I'm going to make me some Nestle's Quick. I'll need a table and some Quick. How about that? Now, milk and a spoon. Nothing beats TV for magic except Nestle's Quick. It's real magic the way Quick turns milk into a great chocolate treat. Look, just two spoonfuls in milk, stir, and there it is. No mess, no sticky fingers. Quick gives you the best nourishment because it's loaded with vitamin C, D3, and iron. 
best taste because quick has that special Nestle's chocolate flavor. Now, now hold on there. If anybody's going to do that trick, it's going to be me. That's better. Don't let anybody make your quick disappear except you. Because N-E-S-T-L-E-S, Nestle's make the very best chocolate. It's a very, very curious fact that not all stars of adverts are bits of cheese. In fact, some are human beings. In fact, some are actors. In fact, some are star actors, I mean. Tijdelijk werk via uitzendbureau Start wordt voor 1 op de 3 een vaste baan. Start is de kruiwagen naar een nieuwe baan. Uitzendbureau Start heeft voor iedereen passend werk. In case you hadn't spotted him, the star of that advert was Paul Bradley, who plays the character Nigel in EastEnders. I asked Paul whether he thought there was a great difference between being a soap star or an advert star. It's funny how you can get sort of famous through um, commercials. You know, like uh, when I did the Gyrobank one, uh, you know, having done years in the theatre and things like that, and thinking, you know, you're a, a serious actor, but not not getting any recognition, you suddenly go into a pub and somebody says, uh, aha, Gyrobank, you know, or, or you know, oh, we saw your hop. <laughs> I'm walking, yes indeed, I'm walking, just you and me, I'm walking, did you come back to me? And now for the charts. Okay, for this particular programme, we've got my very own special chart, one I've actually put together myself. There's only four in it. This is number four. This is Boots Posters. The agencies, Collett Dickens and Pierce. The director is David Garforth. And the star is John Otway. Boots Toasters. 9.56. At Boots, we won't stock a toaster until we've tested it 1,000 times. 999. Because naturally, we don't want to blacken our reputation. One. Boots. We test for the best. That was number four. Number three is R. White's Lemonade. Now, the original version of this had some sort of record and ran for 14 years. The follow-up, featuring John Otway, only ran for one. However, it still manages to make the number three in my charts. The agency's Alan Brady and Marsh, R. White's Lemonade. I'm a secret lemonade drinker. All white. All white. Well, I'm trying to give it up, but it's one of those nights. All white. All white. Well, all white's lemonade. Well, I'm a secret lemonade drinker. All white. All white's lemonade. 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 Okay, number two is Iron Brew. In this commercial, John Otway plays an ageing rock star. Sadly, John Otway has to share the starring role with several other actors in this commercial, otherwise it would have probably been number one. My number one, 
Bradford and Bingley home builder account. Saving with a mortgage guarantee, Nigel. The Don likes that. One percent extra interest and one hundred ninety thousand lira off your first payment. The Don likes that. Sadler come off, you couldn't refuse. Hey, Don. Oh, yeah. <laughs> 